they do their background search guys you know there are some agencies that will place you in nursing homes that you would be like my god what is this you know that when you go in that's the last day you are coming there hi beautiful people welcome and welcome back to the channel it's Theo here and in this video i will be talking about the best top five agencies in the uk for nurses and healthcare assistants Before we go ahead with today's video, I would like to give shout out to people that have always been commenting on my videos. Thank you so much. I owe you. Number one, Gloria Fasinha. She's always on my comment section. Thank you so much for your support. Also, AE and LV channel. She's also a new YouTuber. Guys, please go support her. And I would like to just give you a brief explanation on what these agencies do. So firstly, you need to understand that these agencies do not recruit from overseas they only recruit people that have relevant uk experience in the uk and do not require visa sponsorship so um basically you can do it as part-time or if you already have your indefinite leave to remain you could do agency nursing or agency carer as a full-time employee if you are on a dependent visa you could go agency full-time and get your bag if you know what i mean if you are not yet um, a resident, a permanent resident, you can do agency nursing or agency care part-time and still make your money. So I will be listing from the list on my list, like the least to the highest because why not save the best for the last? Mm -hmm. So these agencies I will be giving you, they are the best from my either from my experience or from very close friends that work with them that i know and, and recommend them now to make your own research as well look online on which of the agencies are close to you it might not be on my list because um your location you might have other agency that do pay better than these ones are generally in england where i'm based these are the top these are the top agencies that pay the best a lot of these agencies has their requirements but i know basic requirement they require you to have a minimum of six months to one year experience in the uk i heard that you can actually have three months experience in some of them and you will be granted interview because the process to register usually takes time so by the time you're done with all your process it could be on your six months of experience and they would be happy to take that but still you need to call them or search online and but please make sure before you start booking your agency shift you are very confident in basic nursing care you're also able to safeguard yourself and as well the patient because as much as you want the money you do not want to want to create problems for yourself or you do not want to put your pain at risk and as we go on if you require me to give you tips on how i and how you can work safely as an agency nurse or carer please let me know i will be happy to do a video on that the first i have on my list is nurse plus nurse plus is an so with nurse plus you are able to register online and get yourself an interview you just have to go on their website and type your job role also your location so you'll be able to get all the shifts that are valuable in your area on their website you will see the rates for each job role either you're a mental health nurse or you're a general nurse you see the pay rate you can get as high as 35 to 39 pound per hour it depends on your job description and the location they send you to it's quite easy to navigate guys even though it is called nurse plus they do have shifts for healthcare assistance as well i have on my list is medgen so Med medgen is also one of the best agencies recruiting in england they do give you good rates as well as they say the rates you deserve up to 36 to 43 pound depending on your specialty they also have roles for healthcare assistance so they have um good rate as well all the requirements are there on the website and the contact details medax medax, medax is also one of the best recruiting agency in the uk aside the fact that they pay well 
They also have shifts for doctors, dental therapies, healthcare assistants, home care jobs, and a lot of them. The good thing about this agency is the fact that they will allow you to operate your own umbrella company, which allows you to reduce unnecessary deduction from your salary, from your tax and also with your tax guys hmrc do not like when they are being cheated <laughs> the fourth one i can't believe we are getting to the highest <laughs> the first one is ambition 24 hours Ambi it is no doubt that ambition 24 hours is one of the best in england scotland and wales they do recruit nurses and healthcare assistants to a lot of locations and you'll be able to calculate how much you earn online they have roles for a lot of specialties as you can see the clinic nurse they also have roles in different parts of england so it's one of your best bets you could earn as high as 650 pounds per shift and it depends on your location in england wales or scotland oh i know you want to hear my best <laughs> drum rolls drum rolls drum rolls drum rolls aha uh -huh. before you hear the best may i ask you to subscribe give this video a thumbs up please thank you now the highest on my list bear in mind that this is not just about the pay now this is not just about the pay it has to do with the staff support how they interact with you when you have an issue how they are able to liaise with their clients to fit around your schedule as well and how they are able to support you when you have issues with either the hospital you've been to or the care home because when you work in an agency you're working on eggshells you have to work very cautiously more than you do in your normal place of work you know that you're going to somewhere you've never been to and you are more likely to make errors than you would if you are in your regular place of work so when i say it's the best it's not just about the pay it's about staff support and also giving you the best places you want to go because you do not want to go to somewhere where their cqc rating is really bad or not good at all you will be more likely to make error you just they send you to the location of the hospital the clients and they do their background search guys you know there are some agencies that will place you in nursing homes that you would be like my god what is this and you know that when you go in that's the last day you are coming there but this company i'm about to mention Aside the fact that they pay one of the best rates in town, they also give you clinical support 24 hours. They are always there for you whenever you're in trouble. Just give them a ring and they'll be able to um, answer your questions regarding clinical decisions and um, just generally any problems you're facing while on shift with your client. Going to a new environment for the very first time is scary and it's worse if you go to a place that does not support you clinically or is not ready to give you um good staffing you could get into trouble so that's why i put them as the best because they place you in hospitals that have good reputations with good staffing good support good clinicians around to help you calcium group now the calcium group is made up of some sister companies the occasion group is an independent clinical service provider that staffs uk with nurses healthcare assistants and doctors they have sister companies under the occasion group the first one you will hear of that is more popular is thumbry so thumbry nursing will place you in england they are based in england and wales so they place you in england and wales only the list on their pay for nurses is 34 34 pound per hour and that depends on the day and also the assistant they could get as high as 16 to 18 pound per hour and that my dear is even more than the salary of a band five nurse in the nhs don't tell anybody i told you that now tns would place you into a nursing home care homes um send you to patients houses and also send you to prison just for you to have the experience now they pay their specialist nurses even up to 49 pounds during the weekends the pay depends on the day you work it also depends on the hours so from 
from seven to two o'clock the pay is about um two pound less but two to eight on a weekdays weekend and also on um bank holidays the good thing about thumbbrain nursing is the fact that you are able to pick your shifts with the app so they have the app called the quick nurse the quick nurse has all the shifts available even from now till the next three months duration so you are able to do block booking you are able to pick all the shifts you went you are able to work around your normal work schedule and they do know you are working full-time somewhere else so they do not really disturb you so you have to choose how you want them to contact you either by text or by email John telling you there's a shift that matches your availability and with that you'll be able to log in and just book your shift on time under the occasion group is um the pulse nursing so pulse is also in england the send nurses and hcs to um different places so also send you to the community to look after their clients the Scottish nurses are not left out as well. They also have a sister company with the Acacium Group. Most of these agencies will pay you daily. Most of them will pay you weekly. But if you have worked with any of these agencies I've mentioned, please let me know in the comment section. If you're planning to register with any of them as well, please let me know if you're facing any issue. You need to make sure you are picking an agency that is available in your city because the last thing you want to do is to register with an agency that is not in your city and do not have readily available jobs in your city that will cost you a lot aside the fact that you will have to be traveling far you might not be able to get job now process for registering for agency is very tedious it is stressful and it requires a lot of documentation you need to send references you need to do a dbs check you need to do um health clearance you need to do occupational hazard test and all that the process is quite tedious so the last thing you want to do is to register for an agency that does not have shifts in your area i would say go for agencies that always have shifts in at most 30 miles around you so you could be able to catch the train or bus before you start driving by the way i do have a video on uk driving license if you need to get your uk driving license i'm going to try and put the video link above or you could search through shown box so you'll be able to have an insight on how you could go about your driving license because once you start agency you are more likely to need a car they will be placing you into um communities you find yourself either struggling to get to your place of duty or not be able to pick the shift because you do not have um a means of transportation to get there as well as you would be wasting time on public transport before getting to the place of duty but to drive in as an agency nurse or carer is quite essential because you do not want to be waiting for bus when it's very late in the night so let me know in the comment section which of these agencies you are working for at the moment or which of them you would be looking at working for in the future and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.